Zodiac has the strongest set of anime characters? That's the question we continue to answer today. Welcome back to the series where we rank all the Zodiac strength based off of the anime characters that are born in each sign. If you haven't seen part one where we did all the Aries, go ahead and watch that. And if you've already seen that, but you don't want to hear me explain how the strength levels are, skip to here. Now, we will be ranking all the characters on a tier list. A strength scale based off of the one punch man threat level. Starting at our wolf tier, this is the appearance of a being or group that might pose a threat. Then our tiger level, this is a threat to a large but unspecified amount of people. Our demon level threat is where it starts to pose a threat to the whole city or its foundation slash its functionality. Then our second to last one is the dragon. This is a threat to multiple cities. Our final threat level, the god level threat is a threat to humanity itself or just the entire world. Oh yeah, we also added a 0% threat just in case, you know, they're well useless. And one last thing before we start is that one, I am a thousand percent correct on everything I say and it's all fact. And two, if I don't know the character, I probably didn't include them. So if you see a character in the series that I missed, feel free to yell at me in the comments and explain why they are a god level threat. Perfect. And now we have them all right here in front of us. So without further ado, let's get right in it. Starting with Ayazawa from My Hero Academia. And I don't think there's a better spot to put him than a whole city level threat. Given on the fact that we have seen him take over a large number of people i think a whole city is definitely within his you know area of expertise could he do it not 100 percent sure but for the start of this i think it's a good spot to put him and uh we're gonna leave him there next we've got is anko who i would say is uh is definitely weaker than aizawa tiger level i think is another good spot honestly aizawa you're gonna drop down because you're both can fight off a large number of people but probably not much more than that so we're gonna leave you both there next is armin from attack on titan and um i think it's an easy demon level threat without a doubt like that that's his bare minimum especially because he has the colossal titan and the thing is a walking nuke so i think at bare minimum he's a demon level threat you could definitely say a threat to multiple cities because of how big his size is for right now since he does have the colossal titan i think dragon's actually a really good spot to put him next is ben beckman now i'm not gonna lie i know I'm not the biggest Ben Beckman fan, mostly because the fans think that he is a literal god when we literally haven't seen him do anything in the show, but I know he is a vice captain, and honestly, I'm gonna just go threat to a large number of people. I'm not putting him any higher until I see the dude actually do something. That's where he's getting put. I'm sorry. Next, we've got his Beppo. Um, I'll be honest. I want, I know he should be here. I know he can fight. We've seen him fight. But at the end of the day, Beppo's like might pose a threat type of character. But we're, we are going to put him in tiger level threat. We are not going to downgrade him today. Maybe another time, but today, not going to happen. Next is Kami. Um, Kami's a 0% level threat. Next, we got is Chujiro or the, the sword dude, the Kage from Naruto and Boruto. I'll be honest, I don't remember him that well well like i remember him being a good probably tiger level threat but nothing more than that especially since i haven't seen boruto if i've seen boruto he is a kage you might be able to argue demon i'm not going to because i've only seen naruto and shippuden and a little bit in the boruto and i'm not gonna so there we go next we've got his derriere from uh seven deadly sins i would say easy demon level threat i mean she is a demon she's a commandment so i think demon is a good spot to put her you might be able to argue for dragon. I'm not going to do it today, though. Next we've got is, uh, what's uh, it's the hero? One of the heroes from My Hero Academia. I don't remember him doing all that much. So I'll be honest. I'm just going to put him right there with Aizawa. Next, we've got the Executioner Master from Akudama Drive. And uh, I'll be honest, large number. There's no chance you're going to say that this dude is a demon level threat. He's just not that strong. But we know he could throw hands. Well, he has a sword, but he can throw hands. Next, we've got his fisher tiger um fisher tiger i would say is another threat to a large number of people a lot of these characters so far are not that strong they are just like could fight people strong next we've got is himaruro he himaruro him i cannot say that right now but it doesn't matter because he is from Kurokono basket sports characters 99 percent of the time are gonna go on a zero percent level threat next we've got hoshina from uh kaiju number eight i would argue he is at least a tiger level threat because we know he can fight a large number of people but i'm gonna argue and say demon level strictly based off the fact of we know this dude can go toe to toe with kaiju and most of the kaiju in the series from what we have seen from season one can pretty much level six i'm gonna put him there you might be able to make an argument it could be too high i don't know 
we're gonna leave him there next we've got is ibuki ibuki from um b stars another he's he might even not pose a threat if i'm being 100 percent honest the only reason i'm gonna give him a tiger level threat is because he's a literal tiger well lion but they're the same thing next we've got is ikaku from bleach now any bleach character it's kind of hard to rank because like on the grand scheme they are a lot stronger than your average character is he one of the strongest no he's just not so we're gonna leave him in demon level for right now you might be able to make an argument for higher but i think in the day-to-day -day, like he would probably slaughter all of these people with little to no effort so i'm gonna put him there and i'm gonna hope that that's a good spot he might go higher we'll see next is jiraiya the pervy sage from naruto um i think he's a easy whole city level threat i mean his toad summons alone we know could probably take over an entire city or a village so with that and him being a near perfect sage or he is a perfect sage i think it's just a really good spot to put him next we've got is kaiba um i'll be 100 honest he's in the same thing every other duelist pokemon anyone who does not actually control the things but has things to control they go there because theoretically with all of his creatures and everything he probably could be a god level threat but him as a character himself might pose a threat next we've got is kimpachi there's no real art this, especially if you use his bankai but no there's just there's not a real argument he would destroy armin with little to no effort so i'm gonna put him there and i think it's a good spot for right now next we've got is koala um koala is in the same boat you get the tiger level because you're not that strong next we've got is the uh seal hero whatever whatever the hero's name is that is literally an orca i think it's orca I, it might actually be his name is orca but at the end of the day he is just another tiger level threat next we've got is l um i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna put l in a wolf level threat because l himself not really that terrifying but if you use his knowledge and everything he could be a god level threat like we literally watched him stop a pretty much god in that world so and he, you know i think that's a i think it's a pretty good spot for him. that's just my personal opinion next we've got is orochimaru and i don't think that i can put orochimaru anywhere higher or lower than jiraiya i mean if anything you could argue that he's a spot higher because like they have fought multiple times orochimaru seems to win a majority of those so i'm just gonna go there next is porco um i'm gonna give him the same that same treatment I mean, he's a Titan shifter. He's not that strong, but as a jaw Titan, I believe that he at least has the ability to take over a whole city by himself, especially in like most cases, he'll probably win. You might, you might want to make an argument for Tiger, but if he is, he's going to be at the top of it. For right now, I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to just put him at the top of Tiger and I'm fine with that. Next is Rin. Now I'm going to take Rin in Rin's normal form. I'm not going to give her a ginger to for bullshitness because frankly, she didn't have it for long enough for it me to make sense to give it to her. So with that, I'm just going to put her in tiger level threat because at the end of the day, she is a ninja. So good spot to put her. Next we've got is Ritsu Ritsuko. Ritsuko. Ritsuko from uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh, she is a might pose a threat. I mean, we know she can shoot, but other than that, like she's not really a threat to anyone, um, but she has a lot of knowledge. So I'm going to put it there. I'm fine with that. Make your arguments where you are. Next we've got is Ryuma from uh, One Piece. Now we don't know a whole lot about this guy other than the fact that he is like one of the greatest samurais in the One Piece world. And for that title alone, I'm just going to put him in a whole city level threat because I just think that's probably a good spot to put him, uh, especially with the lack of knowledge that we know. Next we've got is Shinra from fire force now i have not read the manga i'm gonna make that very clear i have not but i'm also not gonna care that much because i know that he is a literal god in that world so i'm gonna put him in a god level threat i don't know if that's completely accurate if it's not please comment down below because i'm not a hundred percent sure on that but i'm kind of putting him in that like ichigo category before i had watched bleeds like i feel like it just makes sense to put him there because i know he's pretty much a god in that world so i'm fine with it Comment your thoughts down below. Next, we've got Shizune from Naruto. Um, I'm going to just put her in a tiger level threat as well. Good ninja, strong ninja, nothing that crazy though. Next, we've got Shogo from uh, Crokino Basket. Now, this is what I was talking about when I say 99% of characters deserve the 0% level threat. He, I am not going. I'm actually going to put him in a might pose a threat. And I'm going to actually put him at the top because of the fact that, well, we have seen him literally beat the shit out of people. Like we watched it happen. So you might even be able to say a large number of people. I'm not going to do that, but I, we saw him punch a few people. I'm going to give him might pose 
as a threat because he's definitely not a zero percent level threat next we've got shooter Ara from bleach the thousand year blood war arc um i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna just go here i know it's weird to put kimpachi above her but like i we just like i didn't see enough of her to put on like whole god level threat like i understand but it's also hard because like bleach is just such a blown out proportion when it comes to characters so if anything we might move kimpachi down for right now but we're gonna do that next is silver um silver i'm honestly i'm gonna just put him right next to him another guy from kuroko no basket we also saw him pretty much beat the shit out of people so i i know most of the time i would not do this but you got the two people in the series that we actually know can fight so i'm gonna have to put them in a wolf level threat next we've got a snipe from my hero academia another uh tiger level threat put him right under aizawa pretty good spot next we've got a soma now soma i'll be honest he knows how to use the knife i'm just saying I'm just saying. I'm gonna put him in the 0% level threat. Unless you count his cooking, his like gross cooking, then that's a god level threat right there. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna put him in a 0% level threat because 90, 97% of the time, he is not a threat. Next, we've got Shugi Isha. Shugi Ista from Windbreakers. I would definitely say he is a perfect tiger level threat. We've seen him fight multiple people. We know the dude can throw hands, but probably not on the same level as about 90% of them. So he's going to go at the bottom. Next we've got is our two favorite um haiku characters these guys are once again going in the zero percent level tier because frankly there's just no spot for them anywhere higher next we've got is tokoyami who i would definitely say is an easy uh higher level threat i would say he's probably right around snipes level probably i would you could maybe argue that he might be stronger than aizawa i would never say that but you may make an argument for it next we've got is tosin from bleach as well i'm gonna put him in that right around this tier because we did see him go off we know he's pretty strong but i would not say he's a multi-city level threat next we've got is uryu um who i'm gonna be honest you might say that he's in that multi-city level threat but i'm not gonna i'm gonna put him in a whole city level threat because he definitely deserves that spot but he really hasn't done enough put him in the dragon level and frankly the most reason why you can make the argument is because of the people around him but him as a character i do not think he's a multi-city level threat but that is just me comment your thoughts down below next we got is the witch queen and i'll be honest i'm gonna put her in that whole city level threat as well um she is a master when it comes to spells and sorcery and stuff that in the black clover series but as a character i do not think she's incredibly strong so i'm gonna leave her there next one we got is drake x drake from one piece um i'm gonna just put him in that tiger level threat i don't think he's that strong to be honest you could maybe make an argument that his dinosaur form is pretty strong but him as a character not that strong. next we've got is yamato now yamato i would definitely argue is a whole city level threat you could maybe make an argument for multi-city just for the sheer fact of her power up form or their power up form or his power up form i still to this day do not know if yamato is a girl or a guy or just a dude with amazing pits i don't know not here to judge i'm just ranked um but yamato i would definitely say is a whole city level threat i think that's a pretty good spot for her. next we've got is you know from future diaries um i'm 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 not gonna lie i'm gonna go threat to multiple people the girl's crazy as hell she definitely deserves that at the bare minimum so we're gonna go there and our last and our final one is none other than roanora zoro from one piece the man the myth the legend and i'm gonna put the man the myth the legend in our demon level threat because well he is he's pretty much a demon like that's that's kind of his whole thing so i'm gonna put him there he is very strong but now we kind of have to get into these and figure out where the rankings really lie so let's start with our zero percent level threat i would say out of all of these kami is definitely the weakest soma's the strongest then i'm gonna put those two right next to each other we're gonna leave it there next is our wolf level threat i'm gonna be 100 percent honest i'm gonna leave them all exact actually no l's probably not someone who could fist fight so i think the shot has got a little bit better um so we're gonna go there next is our tiger levels this is where it kind of gets a little bit interesting i would say our strongest one here is probably gonna be ben beckman then porco uh drake is probably up here pretty decent beppo you're going down i love beppo but you're really not 
he's not that strong so i he, he'll go back up but just not right now rin you might rin might be the weakest one on this this list if i'm being honest like in this group i'm pretty happy with that actually and then we have our demon levels this is a wide range of powers and characters i'm gonna start with Uru at the top, I'm going to put our Bleach characters up here. Witch Queen, you could maybe make an argument for the Witch Queen to be a lot higher, but I'm just going to leave her there for right now. Then we've got our Dragon level threats. I would say Armin's the weakest out of those three by a pretty decent margin. Because he pretty much is here because he's a walking nuke. Nothing really past that. And then Shinra, you get you get the top spot. You might be able to argue that Kenpachi is stronger than her. I'm going to do that because I like Kenpachi a little bit more. So I'm going to do that. And then chinra is a god so we're gonna leave it there but i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did please make sure to like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one peace bye and boom Wah.